family welcome back to the channel thank you all for tuning in if this is your first time here i want to say welcome on this channel we do diy natural hair products home decor home remodeling a little bit of vlogging and so much more if you like all of those then go ahead and smash that subscribe button to become a part of this amazing growing family we would love to have you here all right family let's jump right into the video so today i am going to be using bay leaves and i'm going to be doing it two ways all right you can use this has a spritz or bay leaves water and you can also make your bay leaves oil all right so the first one we're going to start off with is the bay leaves spritz or bay leaves water so right now i'm just putting in my bay leaf i got that little kettle from amazon and in the middle of it they have a filter i think it is a filter or i don't know but yes i think that's a filter okay <laughs> please let me know in the comment section what is that but yes within the kiddo there's a little filter that you can put in your tea bag and it's just going to brew through the filter all right so I'd, i've already added in my bay leaves now i'm going to add in my water into the kiddo itself and then i'm going to put in the filter or should i say the tea bag holder <laughs> or the bay leaves holder <laughs> all right so let me know in the comment section like i said let me know what the thing is called okay so for now i'm just going to call it a filter all right so i'm going to put my kettle on the stove top and i'm going to leave it there for at least five to seven minutes It's about seven minutes and my bay leaves water is ready. I'm going to turn the stove top off and leave that to cool down. The water has cooled down so now I'm going to put that into the bottle and that's how simple it is to make your bay leaves water. You don't have to do nothing extra. Very simple and this has a lot of benefits for your hair. Bay leaves can be used as a natural conditioner. It reduces scalp inflammation. It helps with hair regrowth. It treats itchy scalp. Bay leaves can also help tackle hair fall and it can help avoid fungal infection over scalp. So this is an amazing tea to use for your hair. All right, family, let's move on to the next step and we are going to be making our bay leaves oil. So for my oil, I used three packs of bay leaves and what I did, I blended the leaves to kind of put it in a powdery form before putting it into my oils that I use. All right, so that's my leaves. Now I'm going to blend it, like I said, and then we're going to move on. So keep washing, y'all. So family, for this process, we are going to be doing a double broiler method and I got me my bowl. This bowl is safe to use on the stove top. It is safe to use in the oven. It is also safe to use in the microwave, but I do not like to put my oils in the microwave. So I won't advise you to do that. All right. So that's my avocado oil. That's the first oil I will be using. And I'm going to be using a half cup of this avocado oil. My 
My next oil here is my extra virgin olive oil. Again, I will be using a half cup of the extra virgin olive oil. Now let's proceed to heating up our oil. So for my double bridal method, if you are an OG on this channel, you will always see me using like a silver bowl. But no, today I'm going to be using my dish cloth that I put in a pot and added some water. And I'm going to set the bowl right on top of the cloth. All right. This is very safe. The cloth is not going to burn. <laughs> Of course, it is in water. Please do not, if you're going to use this method, please make sure you have a good bit of water in a pot, okay? So that the water don't dry up and cause the towel to burn, okay? So it's 45 minutes later. Here is our oil. Now I'm going to go ahead and strain it. That bowl was a little bit hot. <laughs> I had to advise myself very quickly <laughs> to not to not continue on doing that or else I'm going to burn myself. So right now I'm just cleaning my oil and then when we're done, that's it family. Just put your oil into a bottle that you can use to apply the oil to your hair easily. Alright family, so my oil is in a bottle, but before I seal up the bottle, I'm going to add in one more oil and that is my tea tree essential oil. You can use any essential oil of your choice, but today I'm using the tea tree essential oil. When I'm done adding in my essential oil, my bay leaves oil is complete. <laughs> All right, that's how easy it is to make your bay leaves oil. Like I said, the bay leaves has amazing benefits. If you are experiencing itchy scalp, hair fall, scalp inflammation, go ahead and use the bay leaves oil. That is going to help you. All right, family, that's the end of today's video. And if you haven't yet smashed that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so. We would love to have you here. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one. You may bless. Bye.